Okay, so I've tried that little experiment out in the Arduino website that plays a bunch of MIDI notes in sequence, but I wanted to do something more interesting with this here Arduino. Now, I got this, I bought this in 1994, and I'm glad I didn't throw it out, although I thought, when the hell am I ever going to use this? It plugs into the PC's joystick port, and then it's got MIDI in, out, and through, and then it passes on the joystick outputs over here. So I must have opened this a few years ago. It doesn't have any screws, so it's easy to open. And I looked at it, and it just seemed too complicated to me at the time. But last night I took it apart, and it turns out there's a couple of really simple chips, nine resistors, seven capacitors, and a diode. Get some freaking focus here. What the hell? Anyway, so I worked out the circuit diagram. It turns out that the circuit connects to the PC only on two pins. It's basically a UR, transmit and receive. Pins 8 and 9 on your joystick ports are 5 volt power. Pins 4 and 5 are ground. Pin 12 is from the PC. And pin 5 is to the PC from the musical instrument. So in from the musical instrument to the PC, out from the PC. So Goodbye PC, hello Arduino, pin 1, pin 2, 5 volts, and ground. And we can control that from a battery, so stick it back in there. Which will take twice as long using one hand. So you'll just have to be patient. Unless you want to see black. And I'll put the phone down. So, if that is all we need, four pins, five volt ground, pin two and pin one, then without even having to strip this, I can just get a 15 pin connector, like that, which I happen to have in stock as well, PC joystick port style. Stick that in there, and it breaks out over here to red as five volts, black is ground, blue is what the keyboard sends, so in, in other words, and green is out. Now, using the blue, I could record what I'm playing, but I'm not going to use that functionality, it's just output for now. Then, well, let's just plug this in first before I go explaining the next part. There's our 5 volts. Ground. I'm going to leave the blue unconnected because that's would be for recording. I, however, I'm not going to record at this stage. I'm just going to play a tune. What tune, though? The experiment I did from the Arduino website just played notes in sequence. Very boring. Um, let's also connect the five-pin DIN. So to the keyboard's MIDI in over here from the boxes MIDI out over here and that in turn is connected to the Arduino now I could connect this from a wall power adapter but I'm quite far away from everything first let me show you this Sesame Street, Elmo song, one of Amy's favorites. So we got this is the song, la 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 la, Elmo song, la 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 la, la 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 la, Elmo song. And Amy's laughing upstairs, she's enjoying that. But anyway, I had to take these notes, not the singing part, just the, the part that you'd play on the keyboard, figure them out one by one, E4, A4, and then define constants for them for the MIDI notes in my program and then write them out one at a time in Arduino code and the complication is you also have to turn them off you can't just turn them on and this took me back to back when I was 11 years old or so 
typing programs into my computer that would play music after I had just learned how to read sheet music. That was awesome. Now hopefully this will work for the sake of the demonstration. There's our battery. Plug it in. La 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 la, Elmo song. La 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 la. la. Uh, it's as far as I got.